Hey yo, what's up? I want to show you something really neat. Talked about them before. And, uh, oh, I'm in professional mode here, you know. Uh, oh, wait a minute. These, I, I, I forgot. I use speed lights and studio strobes like a normal photographer. I don't use continuous LED lights, which are only good for eight feet or less, so that won't work. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh yeah, I use normal photography gear. Stuff that actually reaches out. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I, I had a brain fart. <laughs> uh, if you don't have a sense of humor, then what's the use of living? Um, I got an Einstein here behind me inside the softbox. It's a Cyber Commander with a light meter on the back. This little sucker is uh, under $200. Sits on top of any camera. Canon, Nikon, Fuji, Barbie camera. <laughs> it'll let you any, as long as it has a center pin connector, it'll trip. I can control remotely 16 different units with the Cyber Commander from Paul C. Buff. All these Einstein units and this, so I've got an Einstein back here, got an Einstein here. These are not that heavy. An Einstein here, an Einstein here. i got four Einsteins and a couple other. There's two uh, ABR, uh, 8100s, ABR 800s uh, back there, uh, ring lights and some other. The important thing is that these are awesome. Now, unless you want to spend a tremendous amount of money for a uh, bronze collar or something else, there is nothing. The, IBG, the IGBT control on the Pulsey Buff units, uh, the Einstein units, uh, it's unfortunate they're named Einsteins, but I didn't name them, um, is second to none. Okay? Unless you want um, to spend an absolute fortune to get about that much more, the Einstein units doesn't matter. You know, it's like, well, I'm going to budget. You know, the, the Einstein units are relatively inexpensive at $500. They're unparalleled. What you could do with those in a Pulsey Buff a Cyber Commander is unlimited. You sit back there on your camera, you could uh, choose uh, which uh, strobe you got in, one strobe, all the way up to 16, like I said. Change your menu. Okay. I'm going to raise uh, my modeling light. Okay. Menu. Mm hmm. <laughs> Cyber Commander. Pulsey Buff. Um, now with these you do need, there's a slot back here, you have uh, a slave, a dome here on the top, and right here is the slot for the uh, CSXCV transceiver. Plugs in right there, communicates with your Cyber Commander, with power on obviously. Very simple unit, doesn't weigh that much. Um, you have Selection from, now this is the amazing part, between 2.5 watt seconds and 640 watt seconds. Amazing. In uh, speed mode, you can do speed flash photography, you know, like capturing water droplets. You have upwards of just over 13 thousandth of a second on these units. Two and a half watt seconds, you can do tabletop macro with this unit. Two and a half watt seconds to 640, or you can blast the sun with these in mid noon light. Two and a half watt seconds to 640, um, up to 13,000 plus uh, second uh, um, emission. Incredible. These units are so much fun. They make photography so easy. Well, I mean, easy up to a point in that you don't not walking back and forth. You can sit here on your Cyber Commander. You know, sitting in the hot shoe of any camera that you got, it doesn't matter what it is. Okay. I dialed it up to eight and a half watt seconds. I'm gonna dial it up now to eighty-five. I'm gonna dial it up to. I'm not gonna blast. Anyway, I think you get the point. Amazing. The Einstein units from Pulsey Buff are five hundred bucks. A couple of these. You don't have to get this one, but the simple, uh, the simple uh, uh, unit. You'll have to go back and forth between, uh, you know, where you're shooting from, and the back of the Einstein unit to adjust uh, output. Don't want to do that. So for ninety dollars more, you can get this and stand back and do it all. You can adjust sixteen of them. I have to say, I've actually. I think the don't tell Posse Buff I said this, and I have no connection to them. These units are underpriced. For what they are, 
Um, their quality control, these are made in the USA by the way. Uh, the quality control and uh, quality of construction is uh, wonderful. Now, the only negative I'd actually give these, and that's that you need to pack them well, is because these actually sit just a wee bit out flush from the back of the unit. So, if you just throw these into a bag, you could possibly damage the LCD or the buttons, but unless you're a goofball, you know, buy some sort of cheap Pelican-like case for $30 and pop two of these in there. These are incredible. They are $500, and that is damn cheap, considering what these can do. That coupled with the Cyber Commander for 100 I think it's $187, I believe is the price on this. But it's also a light meter, and it will work with any camera. You get two of these, it's 1000 bucks. Another $200, $1,200, you can rock it better than anybody else. I don't care how much money they spent on studio lighting. It doesn't have to be in studio. These are perfectly portable. Go out and blast the light in any light. You know, screw Mother Nature. Give Mother Nature the middle finger. Screw her. Buy a portable pack. I've got a couple Vagabond packs over there. Those are 230 bucks. That's portable power. If you don't like that, buy yourself a 100-foot extension cord and plug into something. <laughs> uh, but for $1,200, two of these Einstein units and a Cyber Commander, just a just the tits. Just the damn tits. Now, you will need these little suckers. I forgot about that. And these are 30 some dollars a piece. That is uh, so the Cyber Commander or the uh, cheaper uh, remote trigger can communicate uh, with these. But that's a given. Softboxes, umbrellas. I mean, the world opens up. I mean, as I've said, make light your bitch. And that is the answer. You know, people talk about, well, you need to buy an expensive lens. You know, stop buying expensive lenses. There's nothing wrong with getting good lenses, but damn. I mean, you know, one halfway decent Zeiss lens. Instead of buying that, how about spending $1,200 on two of these and a Cyber Commander and a couple cheap light stands. And then you can, I mean, you could just blow it all down. I mean, you'll just, you know, you become the Schwarzenegger of uh, light manipulation. Whatever it is, you can do it. You know, stand back about 80 feet out in like uh, 4 p.m. sun, crank up the power in one of these at distance or whatever it is you need to do. You know, you're in control. There's no more, eh, look, the lighting's bad, the lighting's bad. It's like, I've got the most expensive camera in the world. I've got expensive Zeiss lenses, a couple of Voigtlanders, and, uh, but the lighting's no good. When you can shoot, in far, far, far more situations, regardless of the light, as long as the location is correct, then these things pay for themselves immediately. I mean, do you understand that? These will pay for themselves a hundred times quicker than that more expensive lens that you want to buy. Well, I'm saving that for another Zeiss lens, or, you know. No, save up for some lighting! Lighting, damn it! Lighting! There is nothing if you spent three times as much money, four times as much money, that you're going to outdo what these can do in these Einsteins. So two and a half watt seconds, 640 watt seconds, 13 thousandth of a second for freeze motion. Damn, exactly. These are incredible. Hats off to Paul C. Buff and the Einstein. Lightweight, portable, extremely powerful, but you can also dial it down. Most units can't do that. You can dial this thing down to two and a half watt seconds. That's a butterfly. You know, butterfly kisses, as far as lighting is concerned. So, consider that. You know, it's this and nothing else, unless you want to spend a lot more money. And by a lot, I mean a lot, a lot, a lot more money. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye!